Matt, for avnation.tv, we are here in Denver, Colorado at CD Expo 2019. We are in the Sonos booth with my buddy Colin. Colin, how you doing, bud? Good, man. It's so good to see you. Great to see you. We go way back, I feel like. I, I, at way, least way at least the last CD, if not Very before much so. then. A little bit before <laughs> that, I think. True, true. Um, Colin, we're, we're in the booth. We've talked about a bunch of stuff. You guys have had a fantastic last you know year or so. You've Absolutely. brought up some awesome products including three that we're going to talk about today yeah so one of these is a product that is near and dear to my heart because i use it all the time oh. and that is the uh, what is going to evolve from the original connect yep connects have been in the field for what 10 plus years so 2006 we launched the very first iteration of the connect so yeah 13 years now without essentially without touching it yeah that's amazing and uh, i can say even in my own house i still have some running yeah. which I have very few electronics that do that. Go find a consumer electronic that runs 13 yep. years with all the new software updates and everything else. So this year, uh, including what, two days ago, I yeah. believe, you announced a brand new product. We've got it right here. Yep. Tell us a little bit about this fantastic little toy. So this is Sonos Port, and you said near and dear to your heart. Um, yep. This is also near and dear to my heart, is I'm the product marketer on uh, Sonos Port. Okay. Um, so like you said, this is the iteration, next iteration of Connect. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice is it's black and it fits in the rack, yes. which is a huge change Gigantic from thing. us. Absolutely. Yep. But it also brings us in line with the rest of our industrial design. So if you look at like AMP, which we launched last year yes. uh, here at Cedia, and we started to see the direction we were heading with that focus on the installed community, yep. um, Port is another great example of that. Right. Uh, so beyond the industrial design, which respects the rack, but then also could respect the AV stack, yep. that's what uh, the consumer has. Uh, there's a couple of other major things to touch on. Uh, we have an analog in and an analog out, so we yep. kept that feature. We also have a digital coax out. Which is fantastic. It is. We did drop the digital optical uh, for two reasons. One is that we're going to take the stance that digital coax is a higher uh, audio quality. Yep. The second and, and really more important, the bigger driver, is that digital coax is field terminable. Yeah. And that's a big deal for the installers. Yes. So this isn't just a focus group product, this is something we spent a lot of time working with our dealers with. To the point where the other big hardware change is we added a 12 volt trigger to the product. It, and I'm, I'm giggling because this is this is my baby. This is totally. the thing that I saw that, not to say I wouldn't normally be excited, but when I saw that in some of the, the pre-dealer information, yep. I, I got overly excited, totally. arguably. Totally. Um, 12 volt for me on a small streaming device that's analog is huge. It allows us to do so many things. Where did you get the... The, the dealer feedback on that 12 volt side. Yeah. Because it's, I know it's huge in commercial, like commercial stuff like that. It's not as common in residential unless you're talking projectors. Absolutely. So there's two, I'd call it two major inputs. The first is our dealer advisory board. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the US and in Canada, we have two independent, although there's a lot of crossover, right. uh, dealer advisory council members. Um, so that's anywhere from 13 to 20, including both countries, probably 20 to 25 okay. uh, dealers. Um, that we work with on our roadmap, that we get feedback from, and so that we work, uh, we get a lot of, of insights, and that's one of the places we picked it up. The second is when we kicked off all of our AMP work a couple years ago, right. um, we started, we really, uh, truly got into the channel and observed and watched and then reobserved and then prototyped and did all of that to try and figure out what it was that we were actually you know, missing and how we could yeah. go provide a solution for that entire system story that we have. And that's where the 12 volt trigger really came from. Very good. One of the other things that uh, was announced was something that uh, I feel like it's been asked for a ton and not asked for a ton and sure. asked for a ton and not asked for a ton. And that is the brand new move. Absolutely. So tell us about this. It, it's, it's a super cool product. It Again, really is. I was shockingly uh, overexcited. Yeah. <laughs> When, when it was announced to me a couple of weeks ago, but tell us a little bit about this. So I think the reason we're so excited, and, and you said that back and forth, mm -hmm. um, we launched Sonos by Sonance last year, and that brought us outside. Right? And right. so you started seeing us move outside the home. But there's still so many applications for the dealer where uh, they can't necessarily install an outdoor system the way that, that we really want to. Yeah. Well, this provides that opportunity to really, for first of all, for Sonos to expand outside of the home, but then also for the dealer to provide that whole system, holistic system solution right. across the whole thing. Well, we've all seen systems where 
there's a, a full Sonos system in the house, yep. and then there's like a pill or a JBL or, or totally. something sitting outside yep. by a patio because again, they can't drill outside or, or, or something's come up. Absolutely. And so as we observed that throughout our user base, throughout our dealer base, throughout a lot of research, one of the things we noticed is that the sound quality of those products designed to be outside, mm -hmm. when you bring them inside, they're very boomy, right? Or right. when you take the inside product and take it outside, it ends up a little tinny. Yeah. And so that was one of the major drivers on Sonos Move and something we've incorporated is an auto true play feature. So it has an accelerometer built in. When you take it inside, when you have it inside, it sounds great. You take it out of its uh, charging dock, Yes. take it outside, and when you set it down, it'll notice that it's been moved, <laughs> Sonos Move, um, and it'll automatically start true playing itself. Right. So after about 30 seconds, you'll actually notice um, that it has a dramatic sound change to fit whatever environment right. you're in. So you mentioned charger. Yep. So if if you're not aware, wireless. Correct. Yep. Battery Sorry, power. Thank you. About 10 hours of battery. 10 hours of battery, including Bluetooth. Correct. Yep. The, the one thing that Sono said they were never going to do. Isn't that wild? <laughs> so we we have been focused on Wi-Fi because of the solution and, and the um, quality that provides within the home. Right. But we know that if we make something portable, this is going to leave the home. So while this is our strongest Wi-Fi product ever, right. it does also have that a little toggle switch to give you Bluetooth outside of the home. Right, very cool. So this is, uh, as I said, just announced, yep. as well as the port as well as the One SL. Yep. So the One SL gives a quick overview of that real quick? Yeah, so that is the microphone-less Sonos One. Okay. So it gives you that freedom of choice, and there's really two applications that, that are really easy to think about. The first is you've set up a Sonos Beam, and you already have microphones there. Do you really want more microphones as your rears? Right. So here's this freedom of choice, and maybe you do, maybe you don't. So you have the ability now to have uh, our modern computing platform, our modern um, audio platform, uh, as rears without microphones. Right. Um, and because it works, it can pair with the Sonos One, so that's where the Sonos One SL being the, the designation separately, uh, micless separate, separately. Um, it gives us the ability to then say, okay, maybe I do want one microphone and not right. one microphone. Create a stereo pair without having to have two mics. Totally. Um, Fantastic. Or there's places maybe you don't want a microphone, right? Like uh, my bedroom might be someplace that I want to keep microphones out or right. uh, the kids' room or something. So to be able to have that freedom of choice is really beneficial for us. Very good. For our so customers. personally, I know I've just started to be getting the emails, uh, I believe early yesterday or early today. Yep. Pre-orders are available today. Yep. So uh, Sonos Port and Sonos One SL are shipping starting today. Okay. Fully. Um, Sonos Port will be only available to the dealer channel okay. to start out. Okay. And that'll be until about January 2020. Okay. So through uh, Sono the Sonos dealer portal or your local distributor. Right. Both will have limited access to focus on the installer. Okay. And then Sonos Move will be available starting September 24th on Sonos.com and on the Sonos dealer portal. Very good. So if people want more information, figure out pricing, all of that jazz, where can they do that? Sonos.com is Sonos.com is the easiest for the, the general information. Right. And then the Sonos dealer portal to get your specific local currency and everything else. Excellent. Thank you so much, Colin. Hey, Matt, Appreciate pleasure, your time. Always. Thank you. For more coverage from CD Expo 2019 and to learn more about Aviation, please visit avnation.tv. That's avnation.tv.